Hi, it's Goddess Girl 2 here, and all the information for the new season of Story Wars Season 10, Episode 1 and 2, today, April 12, 2017. I'm not going to do this for every episode, just for this one with Fluffy Gamer, and I think he's in another one. Anyways, all the information here that I'll be reading off. You can also get the information off of Surviving Big Brother. So, here we go. The first thing I'm going to show you is the new auction auctioneer lady named Emily. And Ivy was gave, when she started her auctioneering, like Dan does, she was, Ivy had big eyes, and then Ren got pissed off at her because she didn't do the one, two, three, and she's all like, I'm sorry I'm not Dan, but I don't do the one, two, three. And Mary was loving on her. Don't know what that's all about. I don't know if I like her, but I miss Dan. Can't wait for him to come back. But, uh, anyways, let's move on with, in season, or episode two, you see Gerald with Hair! Oh my god, he got hair on his forehead. Can't believe that. And then this boy loses weight, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and lost Brandon, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then this guy is kind of back. Don't like it. And we'll talk about when Fluffy Gamer shows up to the uh, show. He's not in the whole episode, which kind of sucks. So anyways, let's get started. On the first Storage Wars, it went good. I miss Dan doing the auctioneer stuff, not this Emily girl who was not playing fair. L O L, and I say L O a lot, so sorry about that. And yeah, I'm using my new GoPro, by the way. But anyways, ah, I don't know why this is in my way. Like, go away. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying not to edit this video. I have to do a little bit of editing to add a couple of clips. But anyways, so. Get fl we get Fluffy in the middle of the show when Wren gets the locker for 1500 and Fluffy was telling Wren how much games went for and he had to help him out and all that stuff and he did buy a game. If you watch the Fluffy Gamers YouTube channel then you can see behind the scenes and stuff. So he's on two episodes. Because I remember in behind the scenes of one of them he was with Dan. But anyways, so Ren and Dan, Ren and Dale made the most money. I wonder, I wonder the whole time on the first episode, I'm like, where's Brandon? Where's Brandon? We don't get to find out till episode, until the second episode what happened to Brandon. Um, which we'll talk about when we get to it. I wish my goddamn camera would quit turning off. But, uh, anyways, who only helps him, but he lost, oh, Dale, let's go to Dale, he, okay, so he doesn't have Brandon, he's by himself, and he lost weight, so he's skinny now, and doesn't have the belly, and it was funny, because Ren made a joke saying, well, I lost, so, I lost five pounds, and no one seemed to notice, dude, you look the same, hush. And so, oh yeah, and he, he sold one of his storage places where he stored a lot of his things because cause this show, season 9 was like last year at this time, a year ago. Why they waited so long, I don't know. But a lot happened to, to Dale. He lost Brandon, he lost one of his storage units because he didn't want to 
have it anymore and have lots of stuff. So we sold a lot of things. So business was booming, basically, is what he was saying. I don't know why I put sold the storage place he had since season nine. Oh, okay. And sold a lot of stuff. Okay. One person got forty two thousand nine hundred and seventy five and the other one got thirteen thousand two hundred. You have to guess was that Dale? Or was that Wynn who got that? They both made lots of money, just to point it out. But, uh, anywho, move it on. Okay. Guess who got what if you have not seen the episode yet? Ivy, this guy here, he got 804 because of a golf hole cup maker thing that he found. Mary got nothing. No locker, no nothing. Okay, now we're in episode 2 with Gerald and Brandy talking about Gerald. So that's what, damn camera, that's what Gerald used to look like. That's what he looks like now. And that's Brandy. So, and Brandy's still annoying. Yes. Because she bought a locker for $30, and it was a sucky locker, which we'll talk about. So, in season, or in episode two, sh show for tonight, in it's with Gerald. Yay! Cause y'all know how much I love Gerald and and Dale in the same episode, like woo woo. Anyways, but yeah, a lot happened with that. Granny tells us it's so sad. They had to sell their store. She didn't say why. He didn't say why. Don't know why, but he tried to get. Oh yeah, and they sold some trucks, and he tried to get a real job. But it's not working out, and he's feeling sad in the dumps. So she thought she would have him buy some storage units, get his hopes up, and they can sell the stuff online. Why they sold the store, nobody knows. Uh, Brenny said that Gerald tried to get a boo out, and he was getting really sad and not happy. So Brandy thought to make him happy to make, take him to an auction. Since they stopped, so after a year, a year ago is when they stopped going to auctioneers. And I heard that they, he had to sell, he sold his store or stopped doing it. I heard rumors of it, so now we know it's true. Okay, moving on. Oh my God, not there. Okay. Oh my God. Not Dave. Go away. We don't want you here. We don't like a Yule Dove. But anyways. Dale said Brandon moved away. Oh, that sucks. No more Brandon. Now we get a guy named Chad. Who was kind of kooky, annoying, funny. Who didn't know how auctions work. It was kind of weird watching it. And Gerald... Yeah, when I saw Gerald with hair, I was confused. I was like, what? He's got hair now? Like, what the fuck? He looks younger. But... Yeah. Okay. Can't... Okay, now... Okay. Gerald can't believe... Brandy's dumb ass bought a locker for thirty dollars that nobody wanted. She's not a good person. She doesn't know what to buy. She's like, we just need to get our foot in the door. And this is how we start. And it's like, no, Brandy, get lockers that are good. 
all they found was like balls with flowers in them, like, and that wasn't even worth anything. So it was just stupid and annoying. But anyways, Chad knows nothing about buying lockers, but with Daryl's help, he will. I wonder why Gerald sold the now- oh yeah, I already talked about that. God damn it. Stop turning off. Rin, why did he let Dave have the locker for $900? He says he doesn't really need more couches than ever, but we don't need to see Dave forever and ever and ever on the episode. Like, I could care less to see that fucking mug. But at least in this episode, he wasn't that annoying. Just his yep, yep, yep was annoying. And I said I didn't want to deal with his dumb, annoying ass. But yeah. Chad. Chad. That Chad guy is funny with Dale. He doesn't hold back at all. He wanted something that... Okay, he wanted this toy that is worth lots of money. He's like, he's like telling Dale, Oh, let me have that toy. And Dale's like, Excuse me? I gotta get that appraised because it's worth money. He's like, It's a toy. Let me play with it. Like, what the fuck? Or, and it's worth money, and told Dale he can't play with it because, oh, he also told Dale that he can't play the piano for shit. And also he bitched about, bitched a lot about being hungry, and then when they went to go get the toy praised, the guy was like, when it's in the box and never been open, it's mint condition, it's really good value, and the guy's like, but how am I supposed to play with the toy? If I can't open it, and Dale's like, you're not playing with these toys. Like, he's got lots to learn. That's for sure. But it was, the toy was worth two thousand, no. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know what the toy was worth, but this fire suit. God damn it. This fire suit that Dave got was worth two thousand dollars. Supposed to protect you from the fire. Oh, and the toy was worth five hundred dollars. Pretty good for a toy. So who made three thousand six hundred and twenty and who made one thousand Go away. 1,675. You're going to have to guess which one made that. Gerald made nothing, but they... But usually when someone buys a locker and they don't make any money off it, they say they lost a negative 30. All they put was zero dollars, like he didn't buy a locker at all. I don't understand that. And then... Renee got no locker. So he got zero. Not a not a bad first two episodes. I'm glad Dave wasn't that annoying in this episode. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you people later. And thanks for watching. Bye.